What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is David Cantero out here in San Diego. And on this channel, you guys, I drop weekly videos on Facebook advertising, social media marketing, and making money online. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. So in today's video, you guys, what I'm going to be going over is I'm actually, you're going to catch me in the trenches. A lot of these videos that I drop on YouTube are, are really day in the life. I'm simply documenting um, training calls or tutorial calls that I'm doing with clients. I've been building an agency since 2016, gotten hundreds and hundreds of clients um, for, for Facebook advertising services and social media marketing services, gotten hundreds of clients through the direct message um, on Facebook alone. So a lot of these videos that I drop over here are just kind of day in the life videos that, I, that I'm that I'm that I'm recording where I'm walking a client through a Facebook ad or maybe just giving them tips on social media marketing and capturing leads online um, through landing pages and sales funnels. So today you're, you're in for a treat. I'm going to be walking my friend Dorica out of Oklahoma City, a realtor who crushes it um, with EXP um, and really has been doing her thing offline for the past 15 years. And so what I'm doing now is just kind of coaching her and guiding her through Facebook advertising. So on today's call, you're going to see me walk her through setting up a Facebook conversion ad um, using a video. Now, when I'm doing these types of coaching calls and, and training, it's all about an offer. That business owner there, there has to be some type of offer, right? A lot of people try to run Facebook ads and, and think that they could just get somebody to buy something right away or get someone to schedule an appointment with you right away. Although those strategies do work, the easiest, easiest, and most effective um, strategy that has been time tested for, for many, many years now is simply giving away a free offer, a free PDF, a free training video, a webinar, some type of free download, right? In order to entice that lead to want to give up their name and email, to want to come into your world and see you know, what you're offering. Um, these people click, become leads, and that's when the whole, you know, your whole sales process begins. So with Dorica, being a real estate agent out there in Oklahoma City, what she's doing is running local ads, conversion ads to capture leads. And these leads are simply those who are looking to sell their house. So her free offer is a free download to get to give people tips on selling their house. So a real estate agent looking for homeowners interested in selling and her whole proposition is to click download and download to download her free PDF. So that's how she's capturing leads. And we're just in the very, very beginning um, of this entire Facebook ad campaign. So again, today, you're going to see me walk her through a conversions ad um, on a video that she's running to her local area. So let me grab her and you guys, again, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and smash the bell for notifications. You're going to see weekly videos like this day in the life, Facebook ads, social media marketing and making money online. So hold on one second. Let me grab Dorica. Hey, D. Hey. What is good? How are you? I am fantastic. Good, um, good. Happy Monday. Thank you. I know, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Happy On a rock Monday. And roll. Happy Money Making Monday. <laughs> happy Money Making Monday. I love it. What are we going to do? Are we going to run a conversions ad? Uh, I think so. Okay, awesome. Um, yeah, awesome. I don't think it's time to retard it yet. This will be yeah. the third ad. So I believe we are going to do a conversions ad. Perfect. So is that as high as your volume goes? I think, you know, we have this volume issue every time. Let me see if I can do something else here. It's all good. I can. I'm going to take that's max right there. That's is perfect. it better? That's better. That's much better. Okay. Right on. So yeah, go to share your screen and let's go to your ads manager and let's, let's do the damn thing. Okay. This meeting is, I guess I click continue. You just, um, do you see the green share screen button? Let's, um, hit the three dots, let's edit, and let's just see if there's anything that we need to update, like as far as the headline, or I'll just proofread it real quick. Okay. See if, if we're missing anything. So yeah, so always post on the business page first, and then make sure that the final edits are, are complete, and then we go run the ad. So right here, the title, home selling ideas on a shoestring budget. Perfect. I love that. Perfect. Adding a few updates doesn't have to be expensive. You can bring out the best in your home and not break the bank. So bring that this simple, bring that back. This, yeah, bring that back right there. Perfect. This simple. I think it's still is that, okay. okay, there we go. 
This simple idea is less than $100 and can be done without hiring an expensive contractor. See, this right here, D, is what, look at you. you. This is good. Like, this is good stuff. Like, this simple idea is less than 100 bucks. You know what? That might be the title. That, that, well, you know what? Home selling ideas on a shoestring budget, that's a, good, that's a good title as well. But this simple idea is less than $100. That right there is more of a cliffhanger. That's more of a of a of a of a curiosity type of of statement. Like even home selling ideas on a shoestring budget. That that's that that that's cool. But but I think this simple idea is less than a hundred dollars. That's sexy. Like that right yeah. there is is what is what people be like. Damn. Okay. Well, what's this simple idea? Less than a hundred bucks. You know that that's what copywriting is all about. Is little things like that. Mm-hmm. That, that it, it's not misleading anybody, but it's grabbing their attention. It's, 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 it's bait, right? It's bait. So that's really, really good. We can, we can leave it there. Um, yeah, we can leave it there, but home style ideas on a shoestring budget. Um, adding a few updates doesn't have to be expensive. You could, you could bring out the best in your home and not break the bank. You can bring the you can bring the best you can bring the you can bring out the best in your home on a shoestring budget and not break the bank. That could be that. And again, I'm just I'm just kind of brainstorming, but I'm just trying to reword it um, in a way where where it's a little bit more catchy. You could bring out the best in your home on on a shoestring budget and not break the bank. I cannot type with these nails. In your home on a shoestring budget and not break the bank. And then now this simple idea is less than a hundred dollars. Okay, so let's let let's um let's take that, let's cut that, let's copy that. This simple idea is less than a hundred dollars. Let's um cut, yeah, right click and cut and just put that at the top. That's the title. And then we'll come back to the and can. We'll come back to that. So just paste it at the top, the title. So just take okay. away that title. Um, cool. Hold on. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that part. Yeah. Yeah. Just no, I'm just because I, I've made some um, title edits on my video itself. So I'm just I'm seeing if, if I'm clashing now. But go ahead. No, that that I don't think that 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 won't have anything to do. Yeah, okay. it doesn't. Adding a few ideas. But, how, but to, how do we know? Well, I guess that is the cliffhanger because I'm like, what is the idea at this point? Now it's so vague. What is the idea for? Idea to uh, for what? A car, a home, a boat? This, this uh, simple. Good, <laughs> good question. This simple idea on selling your home, or or maybe putting something regarding selling your home in that. This simple idea is less than one hundred dollars, or this simple idea um, is less than hundred dollars. When selling your home, this simple idea is less than $100. When selling your home, this simple idea is less than $100. When selling your home, yeah, when selling your home, comma, this, yep. When selling your home, comma, this simple idea is less than $100. What do you think? Uh, probably your, <laughs> yeah. not you. When selling, selling your home, home yeah. This simple idea is less than hundred dollars. And in a few updates, doesn't have to be expensive. You can bring out the best in your home on a shoestring budget and not break the bank. Um, blank and can be done without hiring. And it could be, it can also be done without hiring an expensive contractor. It can also be done. It can also be done without hiring an expensive contractor. P.S. To claim your free seller's guide, simply click the learn more button below. Let's 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 um let's let's take away PS and two. Let's just go at claim. So so let's capital capitalize the C. Yeah, perfect. Claim your free seller's guide. Simply click learn more. The click simply click the learn more button below. Perfect. Perfect. I mean I, that's just my opinion. What do you think? It's up to you. I like it. When selling your home, the simple idea is less than a hundred dollars. I think few updates doesn't have to be expensive. You can bring out like, why is that there? Oh, this is this grammar thing that you have me download. I mean, it's it's great and it's annoying too because it puts little pop ups in the wrong place. I mean, a few updates. So is it saying that the sentence is a runoff sentence or what's it saying? Because I can't see that part. Advanced suggestion, delivery tone issues, engagement variety. 
unlock all suggestions. I guess it's an, it's an, let's just dismiss that. Can I dismiss that? Yeah, yeah, you can dismiss it. So adding a few updates doesn't have to be expensive. You can bring out the best in your home on a shoestring budget and not break the bank. It can also be done without hiring an expensive contractor. Claim your free yeah. seller's guide. Claim your free seller's guide. Maybe we should just take the, I don't know. Should we drop the line or something? Does it does yeah. it flow funny from contractor to claim your free seller's guide? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's take away that entire last sentence. You want it to just take it away? Yeah, yeah. So we'll just leave it at that. It can it also it it can also be done without hiring an expensive contractor. That's it. That's it. Yeah, because the video the video goes into the plug. I mean, yeah. so yeah, perfect, perfect. That's it. So now thumbnail is good, everything is good. We'll just scroll to the bottom and save. That's it. Perfect. Scroll to the bottom, hit save. Okay, perfect. So now, and again, as you as you navigate, this is the right one, but again, as you navigate, just always make sure you're in that right account right there at the top, next step realtor. Perfect, so we're good. Okay, cool. So all we're gonna do is click the green button and then go into conversions. You know what, Facebook is kind of disrespectful too. When I schedule an ad, they'll run it before I want it to, to actually go live. No, that never happens, D. When yeah, did that happen? It does. Dude? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it be, but I'm telling really, you. Really, you've experienced that before? Yep. Dang it, I've I've never seen mm -hmm. that. Normally they're pretty good, but we'll make sure we we'll double check the calendar for sure. So let's go conversions, and then we'll just scroll down. And I normally title everything here first, so hit that drop down. Name your campaign. Yeah, let's just let's just name everything right here. So. Um, Whatever video that is, I'll normally just give it a brief description right there, just like you did on the other one, seller's market versus buyer's market. So this next one could be could be um, on a shoestring budget or for a hundred bucks or whatever is going to allow you to remember what video that is. Okay, here's crazy because with this video, I've done like, I want to say five or maybe six along the lines of home selling ideas. Good. So okay. if I just named this campaign home selling ideas, do you think it gets? This is just internally. This is just to help you know what video that is without having to click and go into the ad to see what video it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So home selling ideas. Perfect. And then in parentheses, put conversions. Perfect. And then the ad set is normally, I'll always put in the ad set, the, the, the title, I'll put the location of where I'm targeting. Um, maybe the maybe the lifetime budget, but maybe not even actually, yeah, we can actually no, not even that. I'll just put the I'll just put the area that I'm that I'm targeting. So what is it, Oklahoma City or is it a different city within no, it's Oklahoma City. Yeah, perfect. So we'll just put that in the ad set. And then the and then the title of the ad, it could just be it, it could just be home selling idea video. Home selling idea video. Yeah, down there. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we'll hit continue. And that's it. That's that's the beginning of step one. So that's how you open up step one, which is the campaigns tab. Okay, so hit continue. I'm going to, but I have a question. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, like I said, I have several other videos along the same topic. Mm -hmm. um, if I name all of them home selling, should I put home selling ideas video one? Yep. Or is, yep. does it have to be that specific? Or am I it, whatever to help you? It's all about you. Like whatever is going to allow you to look at the dashboard right now. See, you already in the background, you already have two ads that you did before, right? Right in the back. Mm -hmm. Seller's market versus buyer's market, intro, next step. As that list starts to compile, it's going to be very hard for you to know what ad is what unless you give it a, a very descriptive title. So now again, it, it, it's up to you. Like if 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 you don't title it something that's going to really allow you to know what which one you're going to just no big deal. You'll just have to click into it and go in and see what ad that was, and it's just more clicking that than 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 necessary. That's then you know. So home selling ideas one number one. Yeah, that's perfect. Whatever's going to allow you to remember. So continue, and then now we go into the first step. That's the beginning of the first step. But this is that's all it is to the left. D. Home selling ideas number one, Oklahoma City, home selling ideas. Those are your three tabs. That's it. That's all there is to it. So this is tab number one. You'll always go special ad category for real estate. So hit that drop down, go down to housing, and that's it. So click out and then scroll to the bottom, 
and then you're going to see this campaign budget optimization. Sometimes that's off, sometimes it's on. Always make sure it's off. So um, hit next, and that's it. That's step one. That is it. Super oh. simple. So now we're in step two, where we're going to actually choose the state or the city we're targeting. We're going to choose the budget. Um, we're going to choose where we want Facebook to place the ad. We're going to choose our conversion event. So here, we land here, the title, it's already there. We scroll down, website, it's already there. All we need to do here is make sure that that's the right pixel, and then also choose an event. So hit that drop down, and the event we're looking for is the custom conversion event that we set up. And I don't know if you remember, but it's FSBO leads. That custom conversion is the thank you page link, right? So, so it's your thank you page. As I go to your landing page, I enter my name and email to download your seller's guide. I then go to your thank you page. That's the conversion event. That, that, that's, that's the thank you page. So go ahead and X out of that red, your custom conversion. Yeah, go ahead and X out of that. Um, and we'll make sure it's active once we publish this. But that is all you do there. So that pixel ID, in fact, let's double check the pixel ID real quick. Open up another tab and just go to your go to your landing page. So I don't know if you need to go to Kartra or mm. you already got it up. I don't know if we are saved it anywhere. Can I can I copy it from here? Will it let me? No, 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 it's not. Oh, that. I can't you copy the pixel. The page. You okay. gotta pull up the actual do, do, Which, do. Um, I haven't been to Kartra in so long in that bad. No, it's just it's just knowing you want to bookmark your landing page because that landing page. I think I have, I have that. That's it's no one comes into your world unless they're coming in through your landing page. Like that's just how I look at it. Like, don't talk to me unless you go download my book first. Don't talk to me unless you've been through my funnel first. Like, you know what I mean? Like that that's how you want to look at this. Like mm -hmm. what I would do is I'd put I'd put your link. Go to yeah, just go to Kartra. I would put your your seller guide link on everything. Like as far as the website field on all your platforms. So Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, the website field in your bio, in your intro should be this link. So if I click, I don't want to go to your website, click, I want to go to your landing page, right? That's, that's what I'd be doing. Like I'd have, and in my case, what I do is I have, I don't have my, my, my free download link on everything, but what I have is I have my YouTube link on everything. So if you go to any of my platforms, you click on, on the website field in, in my intro on LinkedIn or whatever, that's my YouTube. That's how my YouTube channel is building because I got my YouTube link on everything. You know what I mean? So a lot of real estate agents spe specifically will put their, their beautiful website you know, link on Facebook, for example. And it's like, no, dude, like we don't want to drive people there. We want to drive people to this link, you know? So that's just a little, you know, side note, but um this is your link right here. So here's what we want to do. We always want to just double check the pixel. So if you hover over or click, I I mean, yeah, click on the pixel helper. Yep, right there. All we want to do is just double, double um, check this pixel. So what I do is I don't try to remember the whole pixel ID. I'm just going off of the last four, 6869. Perfect, mm -hmm. 6869. So now let's go to Facebook Ads Manager. Let's just double check 6869. Perfect, that's the one. Okay, so... Now go back to your landing page real quick. Let me have you opt in. Go ahead and put in your name and email. Put in a random email. Just 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 anything. Put in um yeah, take away the N or something. Yeah, just take yeah, put in whatever at AOL.com. Put a whatever. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that other page where it says your 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 um your custom conversion isn't active, I think that's what it said. So once we land here, now it's active. So if you click on your pixel helper in the top right, you'll see the pixel ID 6869. You'll see 6869 and then you'll see the black dot, the black circle FSBO leads. That's your custom conversion. So now Facebook, they just haven't read it in the past few days. That's all. You haven't been running ads. So no one's landed on this page in the last few days. That's why it's been inactive. I think when it goes in, I think when no one lands on the page for it, I think it's, I think it's five days, then it goes inactive. And so all we do is activate it by landing on the page. That's it. So that's all set up good. So now we're good. So let's go back to the ads manager. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down dynamic creative off offer off down here budget. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and set that budget. Um, 
And what I do is I'll, I'll always go, I'll always go lifetime and, it, and it's the same dollar amount, whether you're going daily budget or lifetime budget, whatever it is, whatever we're spending, it is what it is, no matter if we go daily or lifetime. So for example, if I'm going five bucks, if I'm going to, if I'm going to run an ad for 10 days and I'm going to run it at 20 bucks daily budget for 10 days, there's 200 bucks. What I'm, what the way I set it up is I'll just go lifetime so just hit lifetime budget, hit the drop down daily. Yeah, hit the, yep, go lifetime. And I'll just put 200 and then I'll set the calendar for 10 days, right? Same dollar amount, same dollar amount. It's just spent differently. It's spent over a 10 day period. Every day, it, every day is Facebook spending a different amount versus you pushing them to spend a certain amount per day. Like you're forcing them right? You're forcing them to spend 20 bucks a day versus just letting them spend it however they want over the course of 10 days. Mm -hmm. So, so that's how I do it. I just, I just let Facebook spend however accordingly, like however they want, like um, as long as they spend it within that, that, that time period. So 200, I'm just using as an example, you can do whatever, like you want to do minimum of 10, $10 a day. So if that's the, if that's the minimum $10 a day, and we're going to run it for seven days. Okay. Well then there's 70 bucks lifetime budget. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what's the budget? This one ad just, just set it for 70 bucks, lifetime budget, 70 bucks. And we're going to run, we're going to, we're going to run this for seven days. Now, what we want to do also is check it in a few days. We'll check it in four days. Um, and so we may not even run it the full the full seven days, but based on Facebook's new update with this whole Apple iOS, before we used to be able to look at a campaign, run it, set it, let it go live, and in four days, you should have enough data to really determine whether you should leave that ad on or turn it off. Today, it's more like seven days because it's new iOS update. It's more like seven days. Facebook is encouraging you to run it a little longer. To, to really look at the numbers. And then when we end up looking at the numbers, the numbers aren't even fully accurate at this point, because again, all these updates that Facebook's doing right now. So we'll end up ha having to rely on Kartra and looking at the leads inside of Kartra, making sure that that leads are coming in inside of Kartra, because those leads coming in inside of Kartra may not reflect over here because of this new Apple iOS thing. Um, and it's only a little, a little random hiccup right now where Facebook is, is still optimizing their platform to, to fit everything, but, or to fit this update. So all I'm saying is that normally in four days, we would review it, but let this thing run for seven, let it run for seven days. So change that calendar tomorrow, put the, put the, um, put the 25th, you're going to always set your ad for the next day. So 25th, 6am, always set mm -hmm. it for the next day. In this case, I'm doing Thursday or Friday. Remember? Perfect. 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 So let's do, I'm let's do Friday. Do I don't know. I'm trying to get, and I, I should have looked at this before we got started, but there's some kind of little, you know, study of when most people are more inclined to, I guess, <laughs> be on social media. You know, there's, there's like, there's like peak yeah. times and I can't remember if it's a Thursday or Friday, but either way, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. Me, I'm just going to keep it on a Friday. Yeah. Okay. So, so why don't you, why don't you just, you know, make a note or just mentally, you know, prepare every Thursday, there's a new video up on that business page. And every Friday morning, that video goes live. Okay, right? Keep it that simple. Keep it that simple. D. am telling you keep it that simple. If you can stay consistent with that, you'll be crushing it. But but I'm telling you most don't stay consistent for whatever reason. They just, they just don't, they just don't. I've yet to see a person that's running ads every week. I've yet to see that person. Um, and that's what it takes. And you know, that's, that's just what it is. So yeah. May 28th to the, to June 7th. Perfect. Wait a minute. So, Did you say run it seven or 10 days? Seven days, set it for seven days. And then, and then we'll review it. Time. We'll review it in we'll review it in six days. I want to review it in six days before the seventh day. Um, so just put it for seven days. So Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That would be till Friday, but we want to yeah. review, not really stop the ad, but review it on Thursday. Yeah. Review it a day before the ad goes off. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. So 28th to the 4th, that's seven days. So 
6 a.m. Actually, in your case, it's going to go, it, it, you're going to put 4 a.m. because it's Pacific time. So go 4 a.m., 4 a.m. Start time, end time, 4 a.m. Always do the same time. Always do it 4 a.m. Always. So start time, 4 a.m. And then, and then that's it. So again, over here, the second tab, step two, this is it. So just changing the budget, go back up real quick, making sure the conversion event is there, making sure the pixel is the right one, making sure that above it's on website, making sure you have a title, that's it. So scroll up, you got website above. So making sure it's there, making sure your title, that's it, D, that's it. So scroll down. So now we got the budget. Now we're gonna come down to the targeting. So we got the we got the lifetime. We're good. So now we're going to go right here, location, United States. We're going to X that out. So go ahead and hover over it and edit. Take out the United States and then type in your um, X out. Yep. And then and then just type in your location or wherever we're targeting. And then always go with people living in this location. Perfect. So that's fine. I was, I was trying to type in the wrong block. <laughs> so. Oklahoma City, and then you'll always want to go with the drop down. Don't just type something in and, and, and just, you know, that's it. Make sure there's a drop down. And then, and then 15 is the minimum, and you can go maximum up to, up to 50. But when it comes to, you know, local targeting, mm -hmm. choose one. Like, like, and whatever one you choose, that's the one. So whether it's 15 miles, whether it's 20 miles, whatever, like, whatever. But always choose that same one. From this point on because that's the little area you're going to freaking dominate like it's that area so is it 15 is that what we're rocking with 15 miles that's the thing we do this um each time and i think we make these revisions every time we run an ad i don't know what we put on previous ads i want to say 15. Maybe 15, 15 is the new one no more no more anything else it's 15. Okay. That, that that area right there if you just if you just target that area you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna take it over okay like that's it like it's 15. okay scroll down so, so now um, that's it. So age, you cannot change. Um, gender, you cannot change. Detailed targeting, no need to put in any, any keywords. That's what a lot of people try to do is they'll put in, a, they'll put in different keywords. Uh -huh. um, keywords are, are good, are good when you're running ads nationwide. Like when you're running ads international, you got a global business, you got an online business, you know, get a Shopify store or anything like that. You can you 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 for sure need to narrow it in with keywords the targeting, but in your case you're targeting a local area, so we don't want to try to we don't want to narrow it down any further. Like we're already in this small area, so don't eliminate anyone or don't speci don't specify any keyword. Leave it open. So detail targeting off. Don't even put anything there. Languages you can you can narrow it in with the language. You go ahead and put in English. So hover over language edit. And just type in English and hit the drop down. Always, always, always hit the drop down on mm -hmm. everything. Um, so there's that. And then, and then automatic placement. We'll leave it there. And then scroll down and next. That's it. Now, now here's 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 something real quick. Real real wait. Don't click it. Click on manual placements at the top. Mm -hmm. So so whenever you want to run an Instagram ad, it's all the same. It's this exact same exact process. All you would do is uncheck Facebook, uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger, and run that ad on Instagram. That's it. Mm -hmm. The only difference with, with Instagram um, is the fact that that video cannot be more than a minute and that video or image needs to be shot vertical. Ah, uh, gotcha. Right? On your cell phone vertical. Mm -hmm. So um, if you were to have that that piece of content, a vertical image or a vertical video, and it's less than one minute, okay, cool. Same process, same process applies. All we're gonna do is uncheck everything else and leave Instagram and run it over there. And and whenever you do wanna run an Instagram ad, do it separately, right? So so this would be a whole new ad and this would be only Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. So so we wouldn't run them both. And, and when you go automatic placement, because that's what's that's what's what it's what we're going to go with is automatic. That's when everything is checked. So so manual placement is now allowing us to uncheck things. So if you scroll down, it starts with those platforms at the top. But then it but then here are the placements. So within those platforms at the top, these are all the different placements. So you can hover over any one of them and it shows you the image on where that ad would be. And this is just stuff we see 
as we're on social media. These are all placements that we're on all day. Like I'm on, I see suggested videos all damn day. I see ads on the right-hand column all damn day. Instagram Explorer, like I see all this stuff all day, right? So these are all the different placements. Now, again, you can uncheck whatever you want. You can only place it. What I used to do is I used to run ads only in the newsfeed, only in the newsfeed, right? I'll uncheck everything and only run it on Facebook in the newsfeed, especially when the budget is lower. Um, when you're starting off and you're just starting off with a low budget, only in the newsfeed. That way, Facebook just allocates every single penny straight there. And the reason why straight there is because that's where all the attention is. Like if you jump on your phone right now and you go to Facebook, you're just looking at the newsfeed. Even if you come over here on Facebook on your computer, you're just looking at the newsfeed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, random stuff may come. Watch, go to, go to Facebook real quick. Dorica, right there, number six. Yeah, click on that one. Go to the newsfeed. So click on the home at the top. Just go to your newsfeed. So as we come here, yeah, if I'm not making updates to my page or whatever, and I'm just, you know, trying to, you know, shoot the shit and waste time and scroll, I'm scrolling to the newsfeed. Yeah, I might see things to the right. Like as I scroll, I might see birthdays to the right. I might even see some ads to the right. But my attention is in the newsfeed. I may click the stories. That's what a lot of us watch now are the top, the stories. Mm -hmm. And that's where an ad could go as well. But the the most engagement on ads are from the newsfeed. Right. So, So that's why before I used to just go, so go back to the ads manager. Before I used to just go edit placement and I would uncheck everything. But now Facebook is so sophisticated as far as the AI, as far as this machine, it's all machine learning. It's not a person that's running these ads. It's a machine. And the machine is not, I mean, we cannot outsmart the machine. So now we just go automatic placement and let Facebook place it wherever they wish, because wherever they wish is going to be high engagement. And Facebook is in the business of, of making money. So they want to keep making money on us. And the only way they're going to keep making money on us is if our ads perform. So, 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 so don't think that we can out think the placement of where Facebook's engagement is coming from. They know that shit better than us. So now what I'm trying to say is I just go automatic, scroll up. I just go automatic placement and let Facebook place it wherever they know is best for engagement. And, 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 and that's when you're charged, right? That, that we're, 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 we're paying per engagement. We're paying per click. We're paying per lead. We're paying for all that. But again, Facebook automatic, they can do all the placement themselves. That, that machine is way smarter than us. Um, that's, that's what I've realized. That's what I've experienced. That's what I found out. That's what I learned from my coaches. Coaches that I learned from, they just go automatic. So we'll leave it at that. Automatic, don't even worry about anything else. The only reason why I showed you the manual is in the future when you want to run an Instagram ad, this is how you do it. You just go manual placement, you uncheck everything, and you only leave Instagram checked. But just make sure that that content, the image or the video is vertical and less than one minute if it's a video. Okay. Okay. So we'll scroll down. And then um, now that's it. So that right there is step two. That's the middle tab. So if you, if you, if you look at it, all we did is we titled it. We put a lifetime budget. We put our conversion event. We looked at our pixel. We did the targeting. We did the automatic placement. That was it. That's step two. Super, super simple. So now we're going to go next. Okay. Okay. Now we're on the third and final step. That's it. So we're already done. So over here, now all we're going to do is choose the content that we want to run. Now, I've covered this before, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. There's two ways to run this ad, two, two ways to run any Facebook ad, really, um, or even Instagram ad, two ways. One way is to simply go ahead and click on that red triangle real quick and just um, hit the drop down. Yeah, go with that one. Your, yeah, so line that one up. So you'll always want to do that, line up the Instagram account. So so one way to do it is where you simply, by the time you get to this third and final step, one way to run the ad is where we simply have the video in your download folder, right? And we come over here and we upload the video. That's one way to do it. So when you do it that way, it's not on the business page. You end up running it just behind the scenes. It's an ad running behind the scenes. No one even can see it on your business page. It's just an ad running in the, in the news feed or every placement, wherever. It's just an ad running, running. But, but, the, but the post is nowhere to be found on your business page. That's one way to do it. Um, the second way to do it is the way we're going to do it, is where we scroll down, right where it says ad setup. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to hit that drop down and we're going to go use existing post. This is the second way. The reason, and then, and then you click select post right there at the bottom. The reason why I do it this way, and I know I explained this to you before, but again, I'll, it, I, I, I love repeating this because it's so important and it's so basic. This is the second way we use existing posts because the way I look at it, it's like, man, if I'm going to spend money on the damn thing, I want it to be visible on my business page for the next 57 years. I spent mm -hmm. money on that damn thing. So I don't care if it's right now or freaking nine months later, when you come to my business page and you see this video and you click on it and you go to my landing page, I don't care. And then, and then when you see that video with 15,000 views, it's on my business page, right? So if we're going to pay for it, all this engagement, all the views, I want all that to be visible on my business page forever. That's why I do it this way. Option number two is use existing post. So that post can live on my page way after the ad has already completed. Make sense? It makes perfect sense. So, so that's what we're going with. Um, adding, a, is it that one? Adding a few updates. Yeah, 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 perfect, awesome. It can also be done. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna go continue, and that's it. And so, the reason why it was so important to double check the the text of the of the post before we came over here is because now that we come over here we can no longer change it okay even if you go to your business page right now it'll say the ad is is or the post is 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 being ran as an ad and can no longer be edited it'll say something like that so that's why it's so so important because if you get over here and you're like damn i forgot a period or i forgot to cross the damn t or whatever the hell maybe right you know what i mean mm -hmm. you can't change it anymore you'd have to you'd have to completely delete this ad, like not just not publish it. I'm talking about deleting it, like completely deleting it. And then you can go to your business page and edit that post and then come back over here and start all over. Oh, so it's, a, it's kind of a headache. So it's a headache. That's oh, why we, I hate do overs. That, yeah, do -overs right. <laughs> right. That's why like, yeah. I'll always double check that, that, that post before we even get here. So mm -hmm. we're good. Okay, perfect. So now scroll down. Okay. So all we're going to do is now add button. So the call to action button, when they click on learn more, they're going straight to the landing page. So click on add button right there, add button. And then we're going to simply go with learn more. If you hit that drop down, there's many different call to action options, but according to Facebook study, they say that the learn more button is the most engaged button. Um, it's the most clicked on button. Go ahead and hit the drop down. There's many, watch, look at all of them. There's many different ones you know, um, many different options, but learn more is what we'll, we'll always go with. Okay. Is learn more. Okay, cool. So right there, you paste in your website, your URL, your, your landing page. Um, you just grab the whole entire link at the top. Yep. That one. So just grab that link at the top. The Actually, that's the thank the you, thank page. you page. page. That's the thank you page. Oh, crap. Hold on. I have to go back and get the, um, and bookmark this page too. You you want you, you always I, no. I know you're going to call me out for that. It's all good. You know, just <laughs> always have it accessible right away where you could just give it to I, anybody. I don't know what I did with it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Cool. So, so now. We just added the call to action button. We're going to scroll down. We're going to make sure that the tracking is all set. Sometimes that website events, that box that's checked, sometimes, sometimes I've seen it before and that's why I'm, 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 I'm saying it. Sometimes you'll see that unchecked. If you do, just check the box, check the box website events, and then you'll see the drop down where you can, you can drop down right there. You'll see that drop down and all you do is choose your pixel. That's it. Your pixel is six, eight, six, nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so here it's there by default and that's cool. Makes things easier, but sometimes it's not checked. So you'll always want to check website events, make sure that's the right pixel. And then down there, that dot is green and that is it D. So now you're going to hit publish. You're good. So hit publish. And then once you publish it, then you can look at, you can, you can take a, a, a quick look at what it looks like in the newsfeed once it goes live. So once it publishes here, we'll, um, we'll hit the drop down. So right here to the very, very right, you see, you see view more, view more variations to the right of that, that drop down to the right. Yeah. Hit that one. And then you're going to scroll down to well, actually once this little box 
gets yeah okay so scroll down to facebook post or scroll down scroll down keep going face actually yeah, no, no, it's, down. Not it's actually um it's actually below that but go ahead and um see if you can hit it again the drop down view on facebook yeah down yeah it's down it's weird okay hold on let me click out of it again let me raise i don't know what why it's shortening that menu it's okay click on um let so me, just x out to the left x out to the left that x just x out to the very top left x out of this window. yeah x out of there and we'll just come back into it real quick and then so now you have your home selling ideas video the title to the left next to your image right there edit no 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 don't touch the blue button edit <laughs> edit got nervous. click on edit and then so okay. now as we come back over here let's try to hit that drop down and see if we can see um the, the bottom part of it right here. facebook yeah it's right there view on facebook it's down there but Wait, um we get to it you know it's all good what you can do is you can just um you can just go with just go with facebook see facebook post with comments click on that one facebook post with comments yeah mm -hmm. click on that one Okay, let's just see if, if it if we can see it over here in the newsfeed. It's just cool to quick take a quick look at what it looks like in the newsfeed. Actually, well, that's the post. It's not exactly in the newsfeed, but that's fine. That that's what it looks like. So when selling your home, this simple idea is less than a hundred dollars. That's a good I like that title, D. Like that that right there is that would get me to stop and 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 wonder what the hell the idea is. Mm -hmm. right, the only thing I would say, and this is really tedious, I think I should have did it in all caps. So it looks more like a headline. You you can, and that's something to do in the future. Like that's yeah. something to do in the future for sure. That's uh, just, you know, like I said, it's tedious. It really has, it has nothing to do with whether or not, you yep. know what I'm saying? It's um, effective or ineffective. I think it just breaks up well, the text a little bit and it yeah. pops out, looks, looks different. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I totally agree. And 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 that's what you're doing in the, in the future, you know, and that's what you'll want to do before you come and run the ad. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, that's perfect. And then click on the learn more button, make sure it takes you to the landing page. Okay. Perfect. You're good. You're good. So now go back to the ads manager real quick. And let's just, um, we'll X out to the top left. Let's X okay. out. And then now we're back on the dashboard. So over here, now this, this right here is going to be in review. This is the third tab. So we have our three tabs at the top, campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Those are your three tabs. That's it. There's nothing else to Facebook ads. That's it. So once you publish, which is what we just did, now this third one, which is the actual video ads, this is in review. So you have right there delivery in review. So X out of this one to the top right, one selected in the blue. X out of that. Now let's go to the middle tab. No, 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 don't just click on the middle tab on the middle tab ad sets. So now over here, you'll have scheduled. So, so this is already approved. When you see scheduled, it's already approved. And all they're doing is approving the targeting, the budget, you know, um, the conversion event. That's all that's that. That's why it's scheduled. There's nothing to not approve. Um, the reason why the third one adds the actual video is in review and it'll be in review for a few hours because that's when they actually review to make sure there's no curse words make sure there's no freaking liquor in the background of that video like those things will matter like that's what they review like i have a client i have a client like an older client where like not not as far as age but just a client that i've been working with for like three years where she does a lot of videos right she does a lot of videos and she did this one open house this one walkthrough she she was just doing a, a, a she was doing a walkthrough of a of a of a listing and she was having an open house the following weekend so she was doing this simple video and we, we go to run the ad and then in about two hours later, it, it gets rejected. And we're like, what, like, what the hell? Like, why did it get rejected? And then as we look at the ad and then as we read the, 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 the notification on what the problem was, it, it, it flagged us for alcohol. And I'm like, what? I'm like, dude, this is crazy. So then I go in and watch the video and I watch the whole video. It's like a four minute video. So it was a little longer. I watched the whole freaking video and it was all because she was, as she was doing, she was doing an, an interior walkthrough, going through the bedrooms and the, and the bath and the kitchen as she's, and she's just doing selfie style on her cell phone, super basic, super simple and super effective. But mm -hmm. she was walking to the kitchen and as she was walking to the kitchen, there happened to be a wet bar in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. and so in the background, in the kitchen, there was bottles of Jack Daniels, freaking vodka, Ciroc, all this crap was in 
the bar in the kitchen and it was in her video. Facebook oh. rejected because of that. Wow. So, so it's the video that will always be in review for a few hours. And mm -hmm. then, and then you'll get an email. You'll get an email by today, by tonight. And that email will be from Facebook and it will say your ad is scheduled or running. Once you get that email, then you just know that the, that the third tab, the ad set, the video, you just know it, it was approved. So once you get that email, that's, that, that's saying your ad is approved and everything is scheduled to go live on, in this case on, on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So now I just X out of the one selected ad sets. So hit the blue one selected X out and then go to the campaigns over here. We're good over here. It'll say scheduled. Um, and that's that conversion one. And that is it. So X out one selected. And that's how you do it. Now, here's what's very, very, very important. Right after you complete this, right after, we're going to go to the three lines to the left. And this is what you'll do every time. Every time on a video, every time on a video ad, you'll do this every single time right away. Once, it, once we publish it, and now it's scheduled to go live tomorrow, it's in review, it's going live tomorrow at 4 a.m. Um, Central Time, then we're, we're, right away, we're going to click on audiences. And we're going to go and set up a custom audience for that video. Okay. Okay. So we want to be able to track the data from day one, right? When that video goes live, every single person viewing it is going to, is going to be in this custom audience. And, and that's what we're building on the back end. So that's why, you know, as I mentioned before, it's not always about the lead, you know, although it is, we're, that's what we're paying money for, for sure. I get it, but it's also the data that we're getting out of it you have to value that as well. It's the data and it's also the branding. That's what needs to be valued as well. The fact that thousands of people are seeing your face in your backyard, there's value to that. That's number one. And the fact that, and then, and then number two is the fact that all this data is being collected. So we're mm -hmm. able to create these audiences, right? That's leverage, that's data. These are people that watched my stuff. These are people that I'm, that I'm gonna be able to target and retarget in the future with more ads. That's powerful. And that's what most don't realize. It's like, dude, they're only looking for the upfront lead. They're, in, they're, they're into instant gratification. That's, that's what I call instant gratification is that lead. That's all you wanna see is a lead. But what about the freaking branding? What about the data that we're collecting? Value that as well. You know, that's why this is so important. Because this is part of why we're spending money. So let's X out of this right here, the done, or just hit done. Hold, yeah. hold on a second, because I have a question here. Mm -hmm. So it's saying that um, audiences will expire if unused for 45 days. Mm -hmm. well, um, mm -hmm. How, I mean, like, okay, so I've, I've worked to build these. I've invested money into building these conversion ads, and they've established custom audiences. Am I on the brink of all of that data expiring because I have not retargeted or done anything with that audience? No, not at all. There, it doesn't say, uh, let, let's read it like really thoroughly. If an audience hasn't been used in an, in any active ad set for over two years. Okay. So right there, you're not going to go two years and not retarget an audience. If you do, then that audience was never important to begin with. So, so you're not going to go two years without, without using it for sure. And then it will begin to expire. Okay, whatever. Expiring audiences that remain unused for 45 days will be deleted. So if I didn't use the damn thing for two years and then I didn't use it for another 45 days on top of that, okay, shit, delete the damn thing. Okay, I didn't know the two were combined um, statements. I thought it was one separate, like one specific yeah. two years, the next one. Um, will yeah. be something totally different. Okay, so yeah, so I guess it's two years plus forty five days is what it's saying. Yeah, if an yeah, if an audience hasn't been used in in any active ad set for over two years, so we didn't retarget it for two years, then it will begin to expire. It didn't expire yet, but it will begin to expire, and then expiring audiences that remain unused for forty five days will be deleted. So okay. that's a long time, you know, and, and again, if, if we didn't use any of those audiences, we should have never started them in the, in the beginning. But in this case, we're, we're only creating audiences around videos and those that land on our landing page and thank you page. So mm -hmm. you're going to always retarget these, these, these videos, these, these video viewers, you'll always want to retarget. So as we go to, as we get to ad number, ad number, let's just call it ad number four, ad number four and on you'll always be retargeting these viewers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so don't even worry about that. Hit done. Okay. So let's hit the blue button, create audience. 
and then um, custom audience. Okay. And again, you'll always want to do this. So video, we'll hit video. And then all we're going to do is, is go next. And then we're going to hit the drop down over here and choose a content type. We're going to, we're going to simply go off of 15 seconds. So we're going to start creating audiences around through plays around 15 seconds, people who either completed or viewed at least 15 seconds of your video, go with that one. And then um, now in the top, choose videos right there in blue, choose videos. So all we're going to do is look for that one video. We're going to hit the drop down, go to the right page and then um, look for that actual video. It's this one. Okay, perfect. So we'll hit confirm. And then we'll just simply give it a title, audience name. And then, um, yeah, let's, let's give it an audience name. Oh, an audience name? I'm yeah. just going to go with the same title we use on perfect. the other one. Should I do perfect. something else? Okay. Yeah, go with the same one. Yeah, put number one. Is that relevant here or not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What, whatever is going to help you know what, what video that is. Yeah, for sure. And then the, the retention, the 365, mm -hmm. what I do in this case, because this right here is just, is just, is just Facebook letting us know that, okay, as you put this video out, we'll start tracking and putting everybody in this, in this audience of those who watched it for the past anywhere, anywhere in the past 365 days. So they could have watched it three months ago, four months ago, five months ago, and they're in this audience. I don't go that high up. Like what I'll do normally is maybe, 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 maybe 30 days, maybe 30 days max. Because again, if I, if I saw your video, if I saw this video in my newsfeed, it was an ad. I live in Oklahoma city and it was just a, a random ad that I came across in my newsfeed. And I saw that ad 49 days ago. It's like, dude, I would have never remembered you, right? Like I am, mm -hmm. I, I, and if I would have saw that ad for the first time or video for the first time. 45 days ago. I don't remember shit I did four days ago. <laughs> right. It's like, so 45 days. I don't know if I want those people in this audience because they ain't going to remember me. Right. So I try to keep it low. Um, 30 days is good. If I came across your, your video, maybe three weeks ago, and, and, and then I see another ad from you. Okay, cool. Maybe. But then again, it kind of uses to your discretion. Like, what do you think? Like as a consumer, like sometimes I'll even go lower. Sometimes I'll go 14 days. Like I only want people in this audience that have seen my, that have seen this specific video in the past 14 days. Now okay. people way before that have seen it because I ran the ad four months ago. So people way before would have saw it. Yeah, for sure. But in the past 14 days or in a 14 day period, I want to make sure that these people still know me, but leave it at 30, leave it at 30. I don't want to confuse you no more than I probably have. Leave it at 30. Always, always go with 30 is what I'm saying. Always okay. go with 30 in the retention Okay. and then create audience. And that's it. So we set up the conversion ad, we published it. And then we came over here right away before the ad went live, hit done before the ad went live and we set up the custom audience. So right now it'll say below a thousand. And then as it, as it runs, we'll get, especially on that budget, you'll get, you'll, it'll be above a thousand in, in no time. So that's how you do the damn thing, D. Love it.